I'm thrilled to introduce you to the 2021 winners of the ACM CSTA Cutler Bell Prize in High School Computing. This award is designed to recognize talented high school students intending to continue their higher education in the areas of computer science or technology. These incredible students have each developed projects that remind us to never underestimate what high school students can accomplish. Their projects were all judged on their ingenuity, complexity, relevancy, and originality. The winners have each received a $10,000 scholarship to help them continue their education. Let's hear from this year's winners about their projects. Hello, I'm Brian Minnick from the Academy of Engineering and Technology in Leesburg, Virginia. I have created the first self-replicating machine in the form of a fully 3D printed 3D printer. All 3D printers today use microprocessors to control the motion of the printer and to store digital models, but these microprocessors are impossible to 3D print. As a part of my project, I created the first fully 3D printed motor controller system, which reads a 3D printed data strip, a custom data format inspired by punch cards. In addition, I developed a program to convert any digital model into these data strips, applying machine learning techniques to minimize error in this encoding process. I hope to continue in computer science, particularly using these simulations and machine learning to optimize physical devices as I've done in this project. Thank you for the opportunity to share my work. Hello, my name is Emily Yuan, a senior at Wooten High School in Rockville, Maryland. Upon graduating, I plan to attend college and major in computer science. With the recent surge in violent crimes and more than half of these incidents not reported, communities cannot pinpoint high density crime areas. My project, The Spatial Drill Down, is a privacy preserving and interactive web application for victims or hospital patients to report crime location data with just a few clicks on a map. Giving users the freedom to choose a parcel may mitigate their fear of disclosing exact addresses. This is a joint research effort with the CDC and the Grady Hospital. And so after we integrate the system in hospitals, we can visualize the geospatial data collected so that ultimately safety programs can effectively target the correct communities. Here's a simulation of what DC crime data collected using our interface may look like in a heat map. Thank you, and I'm honored to be chosen as a Cutler Bell Prize winner. Hi, my name is Maurice Korish, and I'm a senior at the Ray Kushner Yeshiva High School. From a young age, I was drawn towards technology, and when I entered high school, I began to explore high-level computation through various projects such as the Feedbot. Witnessing my Chilean grandmother in a wheelchair struggling to feed herself inspired me to empower disabled individuals to maintain more independent and fulfilling lives. Building upon open source code, I developed advanced facial recognition software that would track a user's facial features and guide a robotic arm to that individual's mouth. I am truly humbled to have been selected for the Cutler Bell Prize, and I want to thank and recognize Dr. Stein, Ms. Roth, Dr. Stornetta, Yisrael Abigail Rubin, and all of my other mentors and peers who have supported me. In the future, I am excited to broaden my computer science knowledge, particularly in the fields of biomedical engineering and artificial intelligence. Thank you very much for this incredible award and honor, and I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Hi, my name is Sahithi Nkiredi, and I go to James B. Conant High School in Illinois. So my project dealt with developing an assisted heart disease diagnostic tool using machine and deep learning. After a family member had an unexpected heart attack, despite no prior risk factors, I was motivated to find out why this occurred. After researching, I learned how there's only a 67% prediction rate for this disease and that half of myocardial infarctions occur in low risk patients. To solve these issues, I built AI models with various optimization techniques like the grid search algorithm. Finally, I used the most accurate model architecture, which was a 83% prediction rate for the tool. Speaking of the tool, physicians can input a patient's lab data and receive an immediate diagnosis as seen in these two photos. I'm super excited to continue my computer science journey in the fall at college. Thank you for this award. I'm very grateful to have received it. Thank you to David Cutler and Gordon Bell for your continued support of this award. Please encourage your rising seniors to apply for the award next year. Applications will open in the fall.